Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Arkham Horror the Card Game, The Labyrinths of Lunacy. This is the third standalone scenario pack. This one being from both, separately, Arkham Knights 2017 and Gen Con 2017. So they didn't go, here's one from that, and here's one for the other. But, regardless, so this one's available for public release, has been for some time. This one's a little different from the other two. A, first off, it states the number of cards, that being 80. And B, it can be played either with three different groups or three, like there's something about it of like setting up a 12 investigator playthrough possible of three simultaneous games. I don't know how it works and I would love to find out. I don't know if it's you need players for that many different groups or if it's you play three games that play, take place at the same time but resolve all at the end. Regardless, let's open this up and take a look. This package is also designed a little differently. Um, instead of the usual Mythos pack size, except a little smaller, it's definitely a lot bigger. Uh, I can already see that they're not fully using the packaging. It's packaged more like a Mythos pack. Um, the rule book is actually a booklet this time. Um, the packaging itself is just packaging. Yay. This is a test of, the, of human will. And on the front of the rule book, right below the title. Also there being the set icon. Oh boy. Yeah, this is about as much rules as like one of the main expansions. So we've got two packs of cards. Let's take a look. This is anything like the other two. It's all scenarios. And the only player cards are from that of which you can carry over from this. Because if it's anything like the others, you can either do this as a standalone thing, as the name implies. Or you can do it as a scenario added into the middle of your campaign. All right, so I'm going to start with the other one. I've got this all nice and opened up and everything. I should have started with this one because I was looking for this, and it's right there, the main card, because I think that's a good place to start. And I think uh, storing this one's going to be a little annoying because the... Yeah, it's not going to store nicely in there. All right, so... Whoa, hello! So we've got the main card. Normally I list this with acts and agendas, but... We've got five different agendas with four different icons, I think. No, three different icons. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine acts with the said three different icons. And I mean set icons. So that's really interesting. None of which are the ones that are this symbol. Then we've got, holy crap, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 different locations. Whew, don't know if these are like, okay, insert some of these or if they're all usable. I'm not even trying to look at the back of this. Uh, this one I want to definitely be more surprised on. Then we've got some story rule card kind of things. No. <laughs> pick up the other pack, including the last two leftover cards. We've got a bunch of different things that look like items, um, but they are definitely encounter backs. I don't even know if there are any player card backs. And then the rest are all just encounter cards, monsters, treacheries, and such. This looks absolutely crazy. I would love to play it at some point, but yeah, this will definitely take some time. I still have to also want to go through more of the regular stuff before getting to these um, extra scenarios. But that seems to be it. Definitely a larger batch of cards this time. Nice that it's a rule booklet instead of some folded up thing like it is in the Mythos packs, but they really can't pull that off. If those only folded up nicely, fitting in the box instead of having to be folded up the way they are. But whatever, minor gripes here and there. So again, this is 80 cards if you want to sleeve it, but Regardless, that's all from this pack. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. But please try to leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want to comment in general, feel free to. It'd be the right place to ask for me to go over this uh, pack in details or to play through it and give you my opinions. And if you want to see more like this, such as my unboxing videos, my board game overview videos, or I could try to do some let's plays with people who want me to of board games, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.